Dr. Acero here for Corrective Step the Health Center, Tiger, Oregon. I'm here with an exciting new device called Ultra Mist. It's from SanuWave. It's basically a ultrasonic debridement. And we're actually going to use this on our patient who has a ischemic wound, secondary to scleroderma, secondary to a biopsy. So our wonderful rep has set everything up so I can look intelligent and smart. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to turn on the machine. And you can see the device right here. It comes in this handy held uh, portable device and even has little rolling carts. Uh, we're going to set it up. We have the technology in the screen right there. So basically we have number of wounds and we check mark for we have one wound. We know the wound measurement size about 12 square centimeters after some quick math. Uh, it tells us how much saline we need and that's great. So we need 72 milliliters of uh, saline and we have approximately 250 so I think we have enough. And then it's going to set it up. We have already closed down the pump. <clears throat> and it's telling us we have about four minutes of uh, missed application. So we're going to press that. And then we are going to need to press that trigger to get going. So basically what you're going to experience is 10 to 35 seconds of priming. About a 35 second delay until the fluid gets pulled through by the pump and starts actually spraying onto the wound. And we'll actually see it coming through the um, the clear holes very quickly too. So we should be able to have that. Uh, interesting enough, this is actually, the timer is counting down as well too, so that's probably included in that therapy. So you shouldn't have too much time. It's just about three to five minutes of cure. And then we'll probably see some dripping and there's the misting. Yeah, it's starting. You want to get about one centimeter away from the wound. Get as close as you can without actually touching the wound. And I'm told that you do not want to stay in one location. You want to go over uh, basically square centimeter by square centimeter. Um, you'll see that there's some missing because there is some ultrasound waves going in and that can excite the tissue and heat it up as well too. Of course right now, even on intact skin, not damaged, no, no harm, it's just wet. And are you feeling anything at all, my dear? Mm -hmm. All right. And that's the best thing. This patient, unfortunately, this wound is very, very tender, very sensitive. Um, so a lot of their debridements were very tender and painful. And is it indicated to go on the uh, per, uh, prairie skin as well, it's too? It's perfectly fine. Okay. So. And sometimes you can hear a little, a little bubbling, and that means that you're just right. You can kind of hear it hitting the, the oh, wound surface. Oh, I heard it. Yep. I like that. Now, is that from the saline or is that the actual probe sensing the, pro the appropriate? It's from the saline, but it kind of is your indication that you're the correct distance from the wound and that the you're getting the full effect of the ultrasound. I like it. Tricks and tips. Yeah, so when you hear that, hear the spray, you know you're in you're the right We're halfway right. through right now, about two minutes. Very soothing. Okay. So very optimistic that we'll be able to stimulate this atraumatically and get um, her continually healed and staying close. I can see the reason for the one-time use right now. Mm -hmm. Satisfyingly disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and what are the indications for this again, Leah? It's indicated for wound healing, all wounds head to toe. So this is a um, lower extremity ulcer of what traumatic origin, correct? Yes. But it works great for diabetic foot ulcers, venous leg ulcers, pressure ulcers. There's actually a lot of evidence showing that within uh, deep tissue injury that has not yet advanced into a wound, <clears throat> that using this on a DTI can keep it from advancing into a stage three or stage four ulcer. And many times actually resolves the, the DTI before it becomes anything. Wonderful. Yeah, so it's used a lot in uh, inpatient wound treatment in hospitals for that. Oh. Any type of wound, anywhere on the body. So we have 10 seconds left.
couple more satisfactory stuff. And that's done. And it shuts down automatically. And you can see from what we use, this was full. And we use about, I'm gonna say 72, 75 milliliters of saline. <laughs> All right, so we're going to dress this wound appropriately with our nice compressor dressings and uh, to protect the skin as well, too. And we'll keep you updated. Until next time.